This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at using the terminal to manage running applications. Specifically, we're going to look at two commands, PS and TOP. Now, the current computer has several running applications we can see down here in the dock. Besides the terminal, we have calculator running, system profiler, chess is playing itself again. We could start up our infinite loop application. Okay, so let's take a look at how we might be able to find those running applications in the terminal. First of all, we can use something called PS, and a useful set of parameters is AUX for that. And we get an entire listing of all the running processes on our computer, which is probably much, much more than we need. Now, if we happen to know the name of one of those processes, a very typical thing to do is to pipeline the output into a command called grep, which stands for grab regular expression. Don't worry about what that means. It's sort of like a find command. It's going to find each line that contains the name of what we type here. So I'm going to type in infinite. And we found that we have an infinite loop app running, and it is process ID 1958. So if we wanted to, we could stop that. And the way you're going to watch this is watch this little spinning indicator up here. I'm going to type kill 1958, and now it's gone. So our infinite loop has stopped. Another way we could find running processes instead of with the PS command is to use top, and a typical way that I use it is with the dash U parameter. This will update the screen with information about once every second or so. And notice that at the top we have a chess engine. That is the part of chess that's doing the thinking for it. We also have a chess application. And it's kind of hard to get the PID number, the process ID number, except for that one at the very top. And I happen to know that the chess application is controlling the chess engine. So if we kill the chess app, it should kill the chess engine. So here's how we can do that. We can quit with a Q out of top. And we can type kill, and this time all. And we're going to type the word chess. And now the chess application is gone. We can verify that by going back into top and seeing that there is no chess application listed here. So those are two commands that are useful to know. PS for listing out and finding individual applications by name. Top is good for seeing a constant running updated screen of information. And it is very similar in some ways to watching the activity monitor, except that with Top we can use it through a remote shell, through SSH, same thing we can do with PS.